this is Sharif for Just Nailed It, and welcome to Learning Acrylics. Today we are doing a manicure and tribute to the LA Rams, who won the Super Bowl this year. Woo -hoo. I am so, so pleased, so happy for Matthew Stafford. I am from Michigan. He was with the Detroit Lions from, I believe it was 2009 till last year when they traded him off to LA Rams. Um, it was definitely our loss, but... Come on now, we gotta be honest, the Detroit Lions just, just, they kind of suck. I'm not trying to be mean, I'm not trying to be a Debbie Downer, um, it's just reality, we do not have a good football team. So I'm so happy for him that he went to a team that, that could take him to his potential, and that he landed in the Super Bowl this year in 2022. So, so happy for him, but this is in tribute to him, to the, to the team. I've got, their, their colors are blue, yellow, and white. I've got this beautiful, it's called Blue Moon. It is, my colors are all by the Nail Junkie. This is a, let me see how close I can get. This is a beautiful, beautiful blue mix. I know it's not solid blue like their team colors are, but this just kind of called to me. So, I have done four nails here previously already. They are not encapsulated yet. I've got the sunny coconut milk. And this nail here will be Blue Moon. I'm going to wet the nail. I'm going to go in for my first bead. And this is a beautiful, beautiful mix. Wait to the count of five. Yeah, it's not going to be easy with me today. Nothing's been easy with me with the acrylics today. It's been a minute since I've messed with them. So, yeah. I had trouble with the white. So now it's going to be the turn of the blue. Blue, blue, blue. Wait to the count of five. Sometimes you can even drain your bead on your paper towel if you would like. I'm just going to wait. Place my bead. Tuck it in this cuticle, wipe my brush, and wait, wait for it to travel a little bit. It's not going to travel by much. This is a glitter mix, and I think it is just stunning. But I want it opaque. So I'm doing, oh boy, we got a patch right there. That's not good. That's not good. So we're gonna have to go over there. This seems a little bit too big, but we're gonna tuck it in. Get her to start traveling down the nail. Keep your side stuck. Let gravity take over and hopefully she will travel more than what she is. If you want, you can um, help it, if you want to use that word. I don't really like to brush down the nail. Um, I've watched, I don't like that bead. I watch a lot of Young Nails, Inc. for UK, depending on whose video I see. And they're a big stickler about dragging through the acrylic powder. You are supposed to bounce your brush into the acrylic. Also, do not walk really your acrylic down your nail. Yeah, this is just a beautiful mix. So I'm saturating my brush again. and give it a bounce of three. But I'm stuck to the paper towel. I'm only going to do this nail here. I will buff and file off camera. Because it just takes too long and I hand file. I, I have <laughs> multiple. I think I've got like two or three e-files. I'm not versed with them yet. I really don't mess with them. I should to get better with them. Then I'd be more comfortable. I'm going to drain this bead a little bit there. 
wipe my brush and I'm gonna feather it backwards. her in with my thumb. Shouldn't probably do. Should not probably do that. So I'm going to tuck her in. Whoops. Be very careful, especially at the tip. Okay. This will sit here for a minute. I will encapsulate for those of you who do not know what that means. It means I'm going to go back over it with the clear acrylic as I will the other three nails as well. That's encapsulation with acrylics. Let me do the yellow for you with the clear so you know what I'm talking about. Get your bead. My, my clear is up here. I'm sorry it's not in frame. end up with acrylic all over my thumbnail. Not really sure how. Let's see where it's at. Let it flow down the nail. Keep your sides tucked in. Here I will feather it down the nail and go in for another bead. This is encapsulation. Let your acrylic flow. Oh, I have a piece of butter there. There we go. Keep your sides tucked at all times. And like I say, there we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, there's a piece of glitter in it. <gasps> a blue glitter. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh, boy. I almost dropped it. So that nail is encapsulated. Let's see if I can hurry and do the thumbnail. Here's your way to the count of five. You can drain your bead if you like. Probably should have drained that one just a smidge. Make sure your acrylic is tucked at the cuticle. This bead did not go so slow. Didn't go so slow at all. I'm gonna go in for a very large bead. My brush. I will drain this one a little bit. Apply it on the nail. I didn't go as planned either. Should have drained it a little bit more. Put on the underside of your nail. Make sure there's no acrylic flowing down there. Make sure you're holding her down. Don't do what I just did. That'll make it not flow. Let me straighten her out a little bit. I'm going to go in once again with my thumb. I'm going to put a little bead on the tip. And I will drain this bead and place her backwards. I'm not going to let this one flow just yet. I'm going to do as I'm doing here. Wipe it off the bottom. Pat her in. Now, I will put her down to set. I will come back after they are all filed and buffed and the mess is cleaned up. All right, we are back. The nails are finished. They are buffed. They are filed. Filed and buffed, I should say. And here they are. They look beautiful, if you can see. 
um, a hand files as I told you um, I'm going to put a base coat on them now and then cure for 30 and then I'm gonna put my stickers on this base coat is by Diva the Bottle I am this old company Princess Nail by Diana, that is. Don't want to spill it. Let's just see these colors come to. This is a new stand in pegs, and I don't like them. There's no pull to it whatsoever that wants to stay on the nail or the nail on the stand. The stand, oh my goodness, you know what I mean? The pegs on here, they don't want to stay. None whatsoever. And it kind of makes me mad. I love the color, it's like a brushed metal, gunmetal color. I don't know if you can see here, but I just love these and they don't stick. So I'm gonna pop these in for 30. All right, here we are. We have base coated. Ouch, they're fresh out of the lamp. We are going to put some stickers on. I definitely put the 09 on for Stafford because he's my guy. He, he brought it home for, it wasn't for Detroit, unfortunately, but whatever, we're not gonna go back there. So I'm gonna put the 09 here. I am, I am. Okay. Whoops, they're gonna slide about, which is not a good thing. Okay, leave that one there. If I was gonna know they were gonna slide about, I wouldn't have used the base. I'm gonna stick this in the lamp. that a cure. I'm going to stick this one back in there as well and we'll alrighty we're back we're going to take Shh. we're going to take this nail stand and get rid of it is what we're going to do we're going to put rams on this nail here If you haven't already please subscribe to my channel click all on the notification bell that way you get notified of all future videos giveaways Let me pat this down and anything special happening here on my channel Currently, we do have a giveaway going on for all subscribers for the sticky white and black stamping polish from She Modern. Whoops. Yeah, I won't be using base coat again under stickers. All they're doing is sliding around in the nail. Sliding around. It's a little frustrating. I mean, they're stickers, so they don't need, I don't know, whatever. It is what it is, right? Right. There we go. Stickers not wanting to curve. Where are my scissors? We will make them curve, all right. Let me pause, I'll be right back. I'm gonna cut some slits in them. Okay, we are back. We have got the Rams to stick. Hallelujah. We're going to top coat now with my own, not my own, but it's mine. I Jill Beauty's No Wipe Top Coat. We will cure these for a full 60. And we will be finito. Whoops. Oh my god. <sighs> Yeah, the stand will be meat in the trash after the video, unfortunately. Got stuff in my polish now. Stay there, stay there. Got two 
too much chunk coat here. Way to go, Matthew Stafford. Your fans are very proud of you. Remember, this is acrylic and by your own, the Nail Junkie Chica. You can find her here on YouTube under the Nail Junkie on Instagram, and I'm believing Facebook is Nail Junkie Chica. We're popping these in now for a full. Okay, we are back. We are finished with our manicure. Here's my tribute to LA Rams Championship Super Bowl winners of 2022. And to Matthew Stafford, quarterback. Sorry we lost you, but you're better off. <clears throat> Excuse me. And look where you went. I'm so proud of you. Leave me a comment down below, folks. Let me know what you think of my manicure for LA Rams Super Bowl Championship of 2022. And Matthew Stafford, quarterback number nine. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Click on the notification bell. And we'll see you next time. Thank you and have a blessed day. Oh, 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 oh,